Hey Gabe, this is James over at Realty Candy. We're in the middle of a big windstorm, so if you hear some knocking around, it's not somebody fighting, it's it's the wind bashing against everything. So just want to show you what we're talking about with your with your um, domain names. So you can see that you have WW Stuart Florida Real Estate News. That's a C name, which means this domain points to this other domain. Okay, so it points to the non-WW one. And non-WW has an A record that's pointing to 50.56.167.162. Uh, so what we need to do is change that so it points to that other DNS um, address that I sent you in the email, which is uh, this. I'll just put it up here in the corner, 104.197. So we need to change it to that it should change for this. Now, let me just say something. When you do that, <clears throat> your computer and probably your router will have cached this information. So they're going to get really confused. And it's not your website probably won't load right. And I, and I know that's been an issue for you, and so you, you've switched it back, which is that's actually good practice. But what I want to recommend is that you go to geopeaker.com and uh, Put in StuartFloridaRealEstateNews.com after you've updated this. Don't do it before. And then uh, hit Go, and it should show you what your website looks like to the rest of the world. Now, if it's broken, then we've definitely got a problem. I'm going to make sure everything on our server set up correctly, so it should work just, it really should work just fine. Um, and... Uh, you can also check it by going here. I'll send you this link also, uh, Domain Dozier, and, and you put in your, your domain name. So you can see here I've put in the WW one, but if I take that out and I do just Stuart, then uh, you know it basically shows me the same stuff but without the WW. So I recommend going here and checking these settings. You need to give it a, just like uh, four or five minutes, maybe 10 minutes to propagate not more than 10. If it's not working in 10 minutes, then it should be switched back. But if you can see that this address has changed, then it's working. So if this address down here, this 50 dot, turns into this 104 dot, then everything's good. Even though your personal computer may not be working because your computer is going to cache, your, your computer has these two tied together. Okay, So it'll take a while. What I actually have to do is I have to reboot my router uh, when I make DNS changes like that so that my router will n pull in the new uh, DNS settings and it'll help me update my computer. Sometimes I have to turn my computer on and off. So it can be kind of a hassle, but if, if Domain Dozier is pointing it to the right address and GeoPeaker uh, is putting in your site, and I'll just show you real quick here. Let me pop this in real fast. What's, what's kind of cool is they'll actually show the DNS numbers down here. So you can see this 50.56, 50. Dot 56, 50 dot. So this will, sh after you check it here, it'll actually show you. It's got the, it'll say 104.197. And if that's happening, it's actually working. So your computer may not work. And that's okay, believe it or not. But uh, this, this, everywhere else in the world will be seeing it. Sometimes I'll also check it on my cell phone, making sure that it's not connected to the Wi-Fi. So if you turn off your Wi-Fi on your cell phone and then check it, that's another good way to check it. So I hope that helps. Thank you.